against sheep lung consumption <laughs> so no more eggies in the United States sorry all right world's shortest commercial flight the flight between West Ray and Papa West Ray in the Orkney Islands last about 90 seconds oh my god and it's a flight well it's between two islands so i suppose there is no road connection between them so <laughs> all right you'll get in the plane wait about i don't know it's 90 seconds or in the flight or with also with the in now check-in or so but by the way 90 seconds flight The stone of density, used in the coronations of Scottish kings. This ancient stone was stolen by the English. How charming! In 1296, and returned to Scotland in 1996. Yes. Bailey Harbour stones near Bailey Harbour. There are mysterious standing stones believed to have been placed by some ancient civilizations. Okay, so they have some tales related to some ancient civilizations myths. Bailey Loch Ness Monster. Well, everybody knows and heard at least once in her lifetime the famous Loch Ness Monster. There were plenty of TV shows, movies, uh, documentaries made about. And it's one of the best preserved legends or myths in entire world. Well, 
legendary creature, a fictionally named Nessie, Nessie, Nessie. It's said to inhabit Loch Ness, a lake which is huge. But the first sightings, well, are dating back to the 6th century. 6th century, well, at that time they didn't have any kind of uh, technological device to film it or to picture it. Well, the first sighting, so something is there, I believe, something is there down in the deep of the, in the deep depths of the lake. But I'm not sure if it's a monster or it's something else, maybe a weather phenomenon, I don't know. But this is the charm of Scotland. Unicorn National Animal. The national animal of Scotland is the unicorn. How fantastic is that? A symbol of purity and power in the Celtic mythology. Very nice, very cool. A fantastic land. I love Scotland. I should try to visit Scotland. Haunted Edinburgh Castle. Edinburgh Castle is considered one of the most haunted places in Scotland, with numerous sightings reported. Now, uh, watch out this one. Hogmanay, Hogmanay fireball ceremony. Well, fireball ceremony, right? In Stonehaven, New Year's Eve. Hogmanay, 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 sorry is celebrated by the locals with swinging fireballs flaming fireballs around their head okay sounds very risky only in scotland only in scotland you can encounter these kind of celebrations risky there is no word for risk in scotland Orkney Vol. Orkney Vol. This is a small rodent. Rodent. It's found only on Orkney Islands and nowhere else in the world. So it's endemic to that island. Scarabre. Scarabre. It's Scar S K R A R A. B R A E. This well-preserved Neolithic village in the Orkney Island is older than Stonehenge and the Great Pyramid of Giza. We nice. I learned something new. So. Located in the Island of Sky, these vividly colored pools are said to be the batting spots for fairies. The Edinburgh Vaults. Vaults. These vaults are underground chambers built in the 18th century and are more to be haunted of course spots the haunted spots for ghosts well ever 
everything related to Edinburgh Castle, it's ghostly, with ghostly appearances. Everything. It's the most haunted castle in the world. So, of course, the walls are in the same spot. The witch as well. The witch as well. So, witches have a well in Edinburgh. Where else? A small fontaine in Edinburgh commemorates over 300 women burned at the stake between 15th and 18th century as witches. Oh, wow, this is sad. 300 women. I know in that time the witchery was among one of the most used. This was very popular, especially in Europe. 300 Romans. Oh my god. Clothy wells. Sacred wells where people tie clothes of rags to nerby trees as part of traditional for healing. Interesting legend. Alright. Irnbrulov, Scotland, is one of the few countries in the world where Coca-Cola, it's the not top selling drink, soft drinks. Irnbrew, a bright orange soda, holds the title of the most sold soft drinks in Scotland. Wow. In Scotland, sheep outnumbers humans. In the famous Scottish Highlands, sheep outnumber people by a ratio of five to one. So, five sheep per capita. Oh my god. The sheep's land. The brave bridge, moonlight night. Scots have their own fun tongue twister. Uh, <coughs> it's a brave bridge, moonlight night, the night. Try saying that quickly. It's a brave bridge, moonlight night, the night, the night. A moonlight. It's a brave bright moonlight night or night. Night to night. Uh, do I pronounce it correctly? So if you are a Scotland, a Scottish uh, visitor, viewer, please help me with this matter. And use the comments section, right? And try not to laugh very hard at me. It's the first time when I pronounce it. It's a brave bricht, moonlicht, nicht und nicht. Deep fried everything. Scots are known for their love to deep frying foods. From Mars bars to pizza. Deep frying foods. Mars bars fried. It's melted chocolate with caramel. Men in kilts, of course. Traditionally, men wear kilts without underwear. I heard about this. A practice humorously referred as going commando. I heard that the men don't wear underwear under their kilts, so. This makes the things more funny, especially when the wind blows too hard, right? So on strong winds, this will be quite a challenge. Uh, the Scottish tap water, 
Scottish top water. Scotland is so proud of its top water that they advertise it as some of the best in the world. Good for them. They have a reason. Uh, we are returning to Loch Ness. They have a marathon at Loch Ness. The marathon route runs around Loch Ness uh, with participants hoping to spot Nessie during their run. Oh my god. So they invented this marathon around the lake, I suppose, in order that someone may perhaps can spot Nessie during the competition. Oh. How funny and mysterious and crazy is that? Well, back, back pipe rock. <laughs> In Scotland, you might come across a rock. Bands that incorporate back, back pipes into their music for a unique sound. Backpipe. Uh, I'm trying to imagine how the sounds will sound will be, how noisy they can be. Haggis hunting. There are long there is a long running joke that haggis, the national dish, is a small wild animal that roams in the highlands. It could be anything, from a lamp to a sheep. It is carnivore, it is herbivore, it is omnivore, or it's just a myth. I want to know. The Scottish accent. The Scottish accent is often ranked most, most charming and hardest to understand by non-scots well that's true i once a few years ago i had a short conversation with a scot and i didn't understand like 70 percent of what he just what he said because he used a um, Scottish accent, of course. And uh, I asked him a few times to translate it better, to repeat and translate in real English. But he tried, he did his best, but it was something very weird and very funny. So they have a very interesting accent. I cannot imitate your accent because it's too hard for me. I need to live in Scotland about 20 years in order to learn the accent. All right. Now that's a prank next, let's say a prank. The Edinburgh's one o'clock gun. Gun, yes, you heard gun. Well, it's a cannon. Every day, at precisely 1 p.m., a cannon is fired from Edinburgh Castle, which often surprises unexpected tourists. So, be careful when you are wandering around Edinburgh's castle at 1 p.m. You may hear some unusual sounds, like a cannon shot. I bet they are trying to scare the ghosts. <laughs> That's why they are doing it. Golf's origin. While golf is famously Scottish, early version of the game were banned by the King James II because uh, it 
distract the soldiers from archery practice. All right, quite a discipline at that time, right? They banned the sport, which will become, meanwhile, very popular, just because it might may be distractive for the archery. Well, archery is a serious thing in, in Scotland. Next, Scots invention. Well, Scots have a humorous claim to having invented everything from the telephone to television and even to penicillin. Wow. Let's understand them, they are Scots. Well, the Great Highland Bagpipe. Despite its strong association with Scotland, the Bagpipe, Bagpipe, is believed to have originated in the Middle East and was brought to Scotland by Romans when they conquered. So, yeah. <laughs> well, this was a funny session, in my opinion. Funny session. Well, now. I feel lucky that I have learned these uh, unusual things about Scotland. I hope you enjoyed too this video. And uh, I recommend to use the comment section below, so leave a comment related to the subject. And uh, of course, if you are a Scot, just add more unusual things. I'm very eager to find them. Thank you very much for uh, being with me today. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye bye. So, this